This is looking like it's going to be the most complex dish ever. <laughs> First of all, I want to say please excuse my nasally and weird voice. I think um, allergies are hitting me pretty hard. Things are just starting to bloom here, which is beautiful outside. All the cherry blossoms are starting to bloom. But that just means a whole lot of pollen and all sorts of I don't know what in the air. So today we thought we would share um, my favorite spice mixes that I just mix at home and don't buy in the little packages. Like taco seasoning and ranch dressing and what else? Uh, oh, Greek seasoning. One of the reasons why I like to make my own spices is because I am then in control of what I put in it. And this, these are the ingredients in the uh, taco seasoning package. Spices, salt, cornstarch, onion powder, sea salt, high monosaturated vegetable oil, natural flavors, citric acid, sugar, silicon dioxide, and garlic extract. I'm going to start with the taco seasoning. And I've tried to make the recipes fairly easy and um, to not make too much, just to make enough to, for you to store in a little jar so that you can use it when you need it. We're gonna start with four teaspoons of chili powder. Three teaspoons of cumin. teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, if you don't have crushed red pepper flakes, you can always use cayenne pepper. One teaspoon of oregano. Oops. One teaspoon of kosher salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. We're just gonna stir it all up. To the jar. I probably have too much because I already had some left. You guys get the idea. So every time before you use it, make sure you give it a good shake so that um, some of the spices may settle to the bottom because they're bigger than other spices. So just give it a shake before you use it. And you're going to use about four teaspoons per pound of meat if you're going to do, um, if you're going to cook some ground beef or chicken or shrimp or fish. All right, when I looked at the package, this is exactly why I make my own ranch dressing. All right, ingredients, maltodextrin, which is just corn, it says in brackets, buttermilk powder, salt, dried garlic, dried onion, lactic acid, calcium lactate, spices, citric acid, xanthan gum, soybean oil, carboxymethylcellulose, guar gum, artificial flavor, calcium stearate, natural flavors, oh, and in bracket, soy, and monosodium glutamate, otherwise known as MSG. And it also says, may contain mustard. All right, this one is really simple to make. Three teaspoons of parsley. Three teaspoons of dill. One and a half teaspoons of onion powder. One and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. teaspoon of salt, 
and half a teaspoon of pepper. And then just give this a good mix. And then just fill your jar. And again, give it a good shake before you use it. As you can see, some of the leaves will sit on top. And the heavier spices will go to the bottom. So I have my little labeler and I'm just gonna put ranch. Okay, and for the ranch mix, you only need one teaspoon added to half a cup of mayo and a quarter cup of sour cream to make a dip. Or if you wanted to make it a uh, salad dressing, then you would just use one teaspoon of the mix plus half a cup of mayo and a quarter cup of buttermilk. For the Greek seasoning, I just found a like a regular spice jar of Greek seasoning in the spice aisle. And you would think it's just spices in there, but it's not like they have additives in there as well. So they have, in the ingredients, it says dehydrated vegetables, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, contained sulfates, onion, red bell, peppers. I guess those are the dehydrated vegetables. Salt, sugar, spices, including oregano, basil, red peppers. So high oleic, sunflower oil, citric acid, sodium acetate, acetic acid, natural flavor, including lemon, disodium inosinate, guanolate, spice extractives, ascorbic acid, and calcium silicate. I just want Greek food. <laughs> Sorry, I made you cough. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Three teaspoons of parsley. Three teaspoons of oregano. I can already smell it. It's usually the oregano. Three teaspoons of garlic powder. And three teaspoons of onion powder. One and a half teaspoons of dill. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And one and a half teaspoons of ground pepper. Good enough. Mix them all up. I'm gonna fill our jar and again make sure you give it a good mix or a good shake before you use it. And you would use maybe about a tablespoon with a cup of yogurt and marinate your chicken or whatever meat you're using. You can also sprinkle it on salad. You could use it as a base for your um, salad dressing, like for Greek salad. You can use it as a dry rub. So many uses. Nice. I hope you found that helpful and that you could see how simple it is just to make these spice mixes at home. It just takes you a couple of minutes and you'll have enough for um, several meals. They're simple and they don't contain all of those other ingredients that you don't need in it. And chances are you have all those spices at home already. And I guess dude isn't doing the taste today. No, unless you want to see me guzzle spices. No thanks. Yeah, let's, let's. <laughs> all right then. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos. Come find me on Instagram. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful. And healthy. And healthy.